What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're here in Castle Rock. Um, we're attending an event by 1876 with a couple other partners like Uptop Overland. Um, basically we're just going to do a walk around, show you guys all the Colorado rigs that are here. And uh, so let's go. This is my 2018 TRD Pro Cavalry Blue. Um, let's see, pretty much all the mods have been happening the last year since I got to Colorado. Um, but the rear bumper was the first big thing I did. Uh, Victory 4x4, it's been awesome. Uh, the TMT 4x4 rack, that's from Venezuela. It's uh, similar to the Prince 2, um, but it has the same channeling system, it's been great. The, the case is a Harbor Freight Special. It's worked great. Um, just bolted it down to the rack. Um, the snorkel, that came from Dobinson's. And then the TRD logo, it came from Australia because you can't sell TRD anymore. Uh, most recently, I had the Little B's front bumper that has been amazing. As it holds a 12K winch. Um, I'm running the diode. Fog lights, cool cars, man. Cool cars. and then the agency six fair lead, the self custom wheels, uh, Ray tens, they're negative 38, oh, running yeah, full yeah. victory four by four skids. Um, they're gonna be aluminum to the front, and the fuel skid is gonna be uh, steel. Uh, see, so we can go to the back and check out the rear. All right, so the victory four by four. It, it does fit with the C4 ladder. Uh, I only bought one side. It's a modular bumper that you can just buy the base and then keep adding more options to it. The camera relocation is in the the, the spare wheel and then quick fist mounts. They do an awesome job of holding anything. There's no vibrations coming off of it. And right now, favorite mod definitely has to be that little bees bumper. I've had to use the winch being solo, not the best idea, but it saved, saved my butt. Um, and hopefully the future sees a pro charger. That's, that's what I got. Oh yeah, thanks man. Hey guys, what's up? Uh, I wanna talk to you guys today about my 4Runner here. Um, I've got a 2.5 inch lift, three inch lift, whatever. Um, we've got SPC upper control arms, which when I upgrade tire size are gonna be the best thing for me because you'd be able to uh, fit a bigger tire in there. And so I'm looking ahead on that one. Uh, Icon stage three on the all around, except I have changed out the uh, rear shocks back here. I've got RSG sliders here. Um, this is a local company. If you guys don't already know, um, these are pretty beat up at this point. Um, they look nice when they're new, but yeah, I've beaten them up pretty, pretty good. So yeah, back here I've got Bill Steen's. Um, I used to have icons, but uh, just decided to switch it up and see what was good. So yeah, back here I've got the C4 ladder, which a lot of people are running. I know Brian's running it. I think you guys are running it on the uh, Forerunner as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's not a whole lot being done to mine, um, except one of my favorite things on here is my GFC. I just found out today that there's actually kind of a new model um, of this, so I'm excited to check that out. But this is the original one. Um, we've got these uh, awning things here, right here. Um, there's a little aftermarket thing. Um, but yeah, I think my favorite thing about this build is the is the go fast. I've okay. My favorite thing about this build is the go fast. I do a lot of camping and I've basically built this rig in a way that centers itself around camping. I do have some off-road stuff um, on there, but mostly it's about getting out there and, and doing some camping. And then I have one more mod that I wanna talk about up front. All right, so the last thing I've got on here is the 
C4 low profile bumper. I've got an extreme LED in here. Um, this is just white. And I've also got these uh, Run for Tacos uh, shackles here, which have been really great. Got me out of some, uh, some bad situations. But yeah, other than that, I don't really have a whole lot going on. That's pretty much it. Um, but like I said, I mean, this thing's built around this, um, this tent right here. So that's pretty much it for my, uh, my walk around here. Sick. What's up guys, Clear Vision Overland here at the meetup. We're going to be talking about my 2018 Forerunner. Just going to do a quick walk around here. Uh, so we have the Little Beast front bumper. This is one of my favorite mods for sure. I think it makes it look awesome. We have extreme LED lights down here, up there, and then we have some pods down here. And then this is the Running for Tacos Raptor lights, which are a must have obviously. Uh, so if we come over here, we have, these are 295 70 17s. I think it's an awesome size for the 4Runner because you don't require a re-gear. So I think uh, it's just an awesome ride for sure. Uh, for suspension, we have the 2.5 Kings with the uh, reservoir and the damper, dampeners. Uh, cool little mod too. So over here, we have RSG sliders. This is a must have mod, especially if we're doing some rock crawling or just basic trails. Uh, cool for sure. So up here we have a Rhino Rack. This was, I think, my first mod ever. It was just an impulse decision. I mean, we have up top and cool companies now, which is probably what I would go with, but it'll do the job. Uh, what's sitting up here is the James Burroughs uh, Explorer tent. It's the hard shell, obviously. Super convenient, very comfortable. I love it. So coming this way, we have the C4 Overland dual swing bumper. This was probably the priciest mod to date. Uh, it took like six months to get it, but obviously uh, super worth it. It provides really cool protection. It allows me to put a tire. I have my WeBoost antenna. We have some recovery tracks, rotopacks, high lift jack, and my new shovel up there. And over here, I have a custom built drawer system with all of my recovery gear snacks tools all the good stuff over here we just have like a cheap simple cooler being powered by the jackery battery this is the tortuga off-road off slide uh off-road or not the off-road slide it's just the cooler slider thing but uh yeah we have a c4 ladder that lets me get up to the tent this way too and that's just a quick walk around of my rig uh again i'm clear vision overland and we're over here with Running for Tacos, having a good time. Hey guys, um, this is my um, 2016 Toyota Tacoma here. I got the um, TRD Pro Grill with the uh, Raptor lights from Running for Tacos. Um, I got the Baja Design headlights and the uh, TRD Pro headlights. Um, for wheels and tires, I'm rolling on 35-inch uh, uh, Yokohama Geoland and Mud Terrain tires with the uh, SES Ray 10s on this side. I'm a little extra, you, you'll see the other side in a second. Um, as we continue, I got the uh, aerodynamic carbon fiber mirror caps and the uh, Miso Custom turn signals. Uh, up top overland roof rack right here. Really nice rack, really love them. And then I also over here, I got the up top bed rack. It was really nice with my spinny built tent right here, my 2.0 spinny built. Uh, there's not much more for my truck. This is where I want to stop for a second. This is my favorite mod on my truck. Is my lime green Max Trucks. This is my favorite right here. And as we continue, you guys all remember you saw the black Ray Tens on that side. Now we got the uh, uh, matte black BR6 with the blaze bronze lip. So uh, that's how I roll. Hey, what's up, guys? Jason from Overland Eats. Um, usually you can find me up in the mountains cooking up good food and uh, this is my uh, 2017 Tacoma here. Uh, it's got um, a couple of fun things on it. It's mostly CBI armor and bumper, rear bumper. Uh, it's got the uh, Kings all the way around. Um, Nitto tires, VTX wheels from, I uh, got those from the Runner for Tacos guys. Uh, all Baja Designs lighting, uh, also from Runner for Tacos. And uh, I think you know, probably my favorite thing on the truck is the wrap. It's it's peeling in a couple of places, but uh, we're gonna do something again uh, soon. We'll get get this off and get something new on there. 
How's it going? Joseph here. Uh, Instagram's at Jojo's Tacoma. This is my uh, 2017 Tacoma here. So far I got a C4 hybrid bumper on the front here. Uh, about 34 inch KO2s with methods. I got some sliders from a company in town. Uh, up top overland rack. Uh, but so far it's about as much as what I got into it. I got the goat armor here. It's like a custom print that I helped him design up with now he's running it on his website but i'd have to say my favorite mod that i got on here would have to be the go drummer because it definitely changes the whole look of your vehicle a lot but it also protects your paint so you don't have to worry about those good old colorado pinstripes and stuff so but yeah got a lot more going into this eventually here just gotta save up the money so hey guys how you doing it's my gx 470 here um suspension i did fox two and a half um, lift here, front and rear, KMC wheels, Baja lights, which I love. And then my favorite thing about the car is the wrap. Just got the wrap done. It's a satin gray. It's beautiful. All right, guys. So that was a few trucks that were here. Um, we weren't able to talk to everybody just because everybody was walking around. Nobody was really by their vehicle. So we caught some of the guys that were there. Um, but this last one here, this is Drew from Up Top Overland. This is his uh, Tacoma. He's going to talk to you guys a little about a bit about uh, what he has on it, and uh, yeah. So let's go. Hey guys, Drew with Up Top Overland. Um, just wanted to go over my rig today, talk a little bit about it. I've got a 2017 Toyota Tacoma uh, TRD off-road with premium and tech package. Um, starting at the front of the truck, I have a Bay Area Metal Fab hybrid front bumper. Um, it is steel. In there I have triple fogs, I have a Squadron Sport, a Squadron Pro, and the S1. Um, going up from there I have a set of OEM headlights that I ripped apart and did a blackout. Um, no RX350 or anything fancy, just all black. Um, from there, TRD Pro Grill and the badges that we originally started producing. This one is a little bit special because it actually has a built-in air chuck. Um, that air chuck is going to be used in conjunction with an onboard air system that up top overland is currently developing um, this is a trd sport hood that i drove 11 hours one way to go pick up in uh, from omaha nebraska it was a hood swap found a guy that wasn't really feeling it so i offered him a little bit of cash and uh picked this up off of him and drove basically 1100 miles and 22 hours round trip in one day um, from there, um, we've got bushwhacker fender flares, um, just something that I, the TRD off-road ones were kind of falling off. I actually drilled holes through the fender and inserted uh, threaded inserts. That way they're true bolt-on fender flares. Um, tires are BF Goodrich KO2s, uh, roughly 34. They're 285, 75, 17. They're on um, some beat up Black Rhino stadiums. Um, inside the wheel well, um, we've got the Icon two and a half inch coilovers with resi and CVC valve. Um, behind that is the Mammoth Mud Guards. They're a company located in northern Colorado. They make an aluminum fender guard um, for protecting the engine bay from dirt and debris. You can get them custom powder coated. So, really nice product. Um, Miso blackout turn signals. Um, and then up to what we do. This is the Up Top Overland uh, Alpha Series roof rack. Um, in the front fairing, I have dual Baja 10 inch S8s. Um, on the sides, we have our seam pods. Um, on top of the rack, in this case specifically, is a bunch of spare tools. I have a spare axle in there, a bunch of pry bars. Um, in the middle of the rack, I have some max tracks. And on the other side, I have a gun case that's currently unoccupied uh, at the moment. So, um, stepping a little further back, we have a full height truss on this truck with our Alpha EX as well. Um, really like the full height, it gives really nice visibility out the back. Um, and then the EX just continues that look, brings it from the cab towards the back of the truck. Uh, 23 0, 62 inch breezeway. Uh, really, really cool tent. It has a blackout feature on the inside. They call it light suppression technology. So that thing is pitch black even when it's nice and sunny like it is today. Um, just did a little half wrap. Did the topo design on there. Branded it for up top overland. Um, and then that ultimately comes down into the Bay Area Metal Fab 
high clearance rear bumper. Um, currently, I have the swing outs off. This is a dual swing out bumper, um, which mounts pretty nicely in here. Has nice little mounting pins that go in there, shuts, um, and it's a dual swing, so you can use either side at any time. Really nice. Um, tailgate's locked, but uh, from there, I um, have a Timbo Tusk fridge slide that I have mounted into the bed. I currently just have a, a Yeti 65 cooler that I run on there. And then we have lots of lighting inside. So these scene pods are integrated both at the back of the full high truss and at the front of the full high truss. They turn on with a switch in the corner of the bed to give me good bed lighting. And then we just have some chase lights and an RTL um, to provide a little bit of additional lighting just because why not at this point. Uh, coming around the side here, same thing with the truss, obviously. Um, this is a one-up bike rack. They are based out of Wisconsin. You can only buy the bike rack in silver or black, um, but we took it apart and basically made everything color match. So we're using our orange, we're using a copper here, and then that's our standard black. And that goes on the up top overland bike mounts for truss. Um, from there in the rear suspension more of the same we have the mammoth mud guards again um, we have an icon setup so this is their rxt2 um, so it has the cdcv control in the back um, so you get that compression adjustment um, this would be the equivalent of a, a stage nine between the front and the rear truck and then if you can peek in there we have a heavy duty hanger from bay area metal fab um, i've bent the stock hangers pretty bad so that Bay Area Metal Fab just helped reinforce everything. And then there is a cross tube that goes between it. Um, and then on this side, here's the gun mount I was telling you, or the gun case I was telling you about that's currently unoccupied. In here, this case is on a quick release. This holds all of our air hoses and things along those lines for the onboard air setup. And then there is a 39 inch whip for a GMRS radio. And uh, yeah, that's about the rig, man. Um, Thanks for uh, watching, appreciate it. All right guys, so everybody's pretty much heading out now. Um, we were able to show you guys a couple rigs. Not every single one obviously, because we would be here literally until tomorrow. Um, but uh, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll see you guys next time.